Hello, my name is Ziad Rajabi. I'm a program manager in Office, and today I'm going to show you the power of combining the open XML SDK and Office services to create a very rich Office document solution. So imagine a scenario where I work for a company that deals with mortgages and loans. One of the services my company provides is to create custom mortgage reports for customers who wish to take out loans. Now these reports are pretty rich. They contain a bunch of charts, tables of data, and information about monthly payments based on particular specifics specified by the customer, such as the mortgage amount or the loan amount that the customer wishes to take out, the number of years for the mortgage, and the interest rate of the loan. And based on these criteria, my company has a Excel workbook that was produced by a financial analyst that basically represents the mortgage calculation model for my company and by leveraging the calculation model we can go and calculate a bunch of rich information for the customer so let me guys let me show you guys that actual workbook it's called mortgages right here and let me go ahead and open this up in Excel and what you'll see is that this workbook contains two sheets and the first sheet is going to basically take in three values, the mortgage amount, the years, and the fixed interest rate, and it's going to go ahead and calculate the monthly payment using a bunch of rich formulas within my workbook. In addition to just calculating the monthly payment, the workbook will also calculate some pretty rich looking charts. So for in this particular case, it's going to go and calculate what my monthly payments will be if I were to increase or decrease my interest rate for my mortgage. Similarly, I have a second sheet that's also going to calculate a bunch of data. And in this sheet, it's going to calculate a chart that represents what my monthly payments will be if I were to increase or decrease my number of years for my mortgage. In addition, the last chart that it's going to calculate is the total payments I'm going to make on my house if I were to increase or decrease the number of years of my mortgage. So basically, these these charts, this, this data over here is pretty rich and I want to leverage this content inside here and I want to be able to represent this in a final report and to help me do so I've created another template document here within Word this time that's going to represent the final look and feel of what my report needs to look like and in this document I have placeholder regions uh, demarcated with content controls. So content controls is a feature that was introduced into Word 2007 that allows me to add semantic structure to content. So in these particular cases, I, these content controls are going to represent where I'm going to pull in data from my Excel spreadsheet and inject it into my Word document. So here's where the mortgage amount will be. Here is where the monthly payments are going to be uh, that are going to be calculated from my Excel workbook and then here are going to, is going to represent the different charts so here's the total payments chart maybe a table of data uh, that I'm going to pull in from my Excel spreadsheet monthly payments uh, chart that I had also and then the interest rate charts that I showed you earlier on as well so basically I have this final report uh, look and feel template and what I want to do is I want to be able to generate a PDF out of this and hand that over to the customer so let me show you a solution that actually does this so if we go back to uh, my shared documents library here, I've created a web part that has three text boxes and a button. So the first text box here is going to ask me to enter an amount for my loan. So let's say I want to take out a $450,000 loan for 25 years at an interest rate of 6%. I go ahead and click generate report. And what's going to happen is, and actually it's, it's already done, but let me explain what happened. It's going to take those three values it's going to go and inject it into my Excel spreadsheet. It is then going to call into Excel services to go and recalculate my Excel uh, workbook. And then it's going to use the SDK, the Open XML SDK, to go and uh, shred the workbook and remove the necessary information and then go and assemble and push it into my Word document. At which point then we're going to call into Word Automation Services to go and generate our PDF. So let's go take a look at the generated PDF, which is this document right here. And what you'll see is here's a PDF that represents the final look for what that customer had input. So 
the $450,000 loan for 25 years at 6% interest rate is going to result in a monthly payment of around $2,900. And then notice that the charts and the table of data also get recalculated with the workbook and is specific to the customer's uh, input. And we can see that very easily by looking at the last chart here about the interest rate and notice how the 6% is highlighted within the chart. And you can see how my monthly payments would increase or decrease if I were to change my interest rates. So I think this solution really highlights the keys of leveraging the OpenXML SDK, which is very good at pushing and pulling data in and out of OpenXML files, and Office Services, which is very good at doing calculations for formulas and for charts, as well as file conversions on the server using Word Automation Services. So if you guys want to take a look at the source code for this, I have it available to you and it's free. And you can find it all on my blog on blogs.msdn.com slash Brian underscore Jones. Thank you. My name is Ziad Rajabi.